wall. Um, apparently, I'm supposed to make my hand really, really cold and then pour melted chocolate on it. Ow! Ow, it hurts! <laughs> Am I supposed to dry it after it comes out? Oh my god! Oh! So I know, but it really hurts. I'm done. I'm done. That's cold enough. My hand is cold enough. I'm dry. Okay. I'm supposed to pour melted chocolate on my, my really cold hand. You didn't even show the video or talk about what they do in the video. That's because my hand it's was so much, cold. Too much chocolate. It's, oh my goodness. Help me. <laughs> wow. Help me. Just wow. <laughs> back in the dish, back in the dish. And then pose. <laughs> okay, Um. long story short, this is supposed to be a fancy chocolate dessert decoration. And what step one is you put your hand in an ice bath. And step two is you pour um, melted chocolate over said hand and then pose it and let it dry. So I noticed something in the video. Did you see how you've got chocolate like on the backs of your fingers? They also have chocolate on the backs of their fingers. This was yeah. not my fault for how yeah, I poured it then, because they, they have it too. But then when they go to release their hand from the chocolate, there's no chocolate on the back of their fingers. <gasps> Those liar. <laughs> ah, that's why these videos are so Fake. Look what I'm doing to my hand right now. Like, who wants to eat this? <laughs> so what do we do now? I don't know. It doesn't look like it's hardening. Maybe you have to put your hand back on the ice. Oh boy. It's really cold. I've got like no pain tolerance when it comes to cold. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to your face? I don't know. I don't think it's like, I can still wiggle my fingers a little bit. I don't think I can take it out yet. This is so awkward. Well, it's starting to release from your palm a little bit. Like, how do you release? Breaking? Yeah, it's broken here. Uh, yeah, this is a stupid one. I don't know. I'm wondering if it's, there was too much chocolate on my hand because that's all still melted. But my hand's really cold now and I want to do that again. So I think we should put your hand in the ice bath. I think it's and, a fail. But I bought ice cream and raspberries to make the, the dessert and the chocolate. I mean, you could put them on that mess. That looks so yummy. Next one is supposed to be a hack for scrambling eggs. Now normally like you use just like a fork or like a small whisk, but this is so much more efficient. Yeah, so to be clear, I just want to I just want to make sure that I understand that yeah. this is for those times that you don't have a whisk or a fork or a fork for your scrambled eggs. For your scrambled eggs. But you have yeah. like a pan and things to cook them. And a fan. And a fan and hot glue. And, and chopsticks, but not a fork. Okay. That's those times. I guess let's just, let's start with, with the fan. Hot glue, chopsticks, which we actually have on hand all the time because I love Chinese food, so we always have chopsticks. And and you just, you're supposed to hot glue them on. All right. Um, glue, no. Okay, pass me my phone. <laughs> while I hold and balance this. Sorry. It's sliding everywhere. Yeah, I was gonna say, how does this work in here? It's not working very well. Okay, can I make a suggestion? Yes, please. Okay. If you like put it in like that, so it's like up against yeah, that, but, you but see, also you on You see the their canvas. angle, right? Theirs is all like, wah. I think spin, 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 spin. You know, I really don't think that the angle is gonna have that big of an effect on this. Sweetie. We're trying to scrap legs professionally here. You want me to do this? Yeah, I think it'll just add a little extra support. Okay, let's there. try that. It's like, I want scrambled eggs. Give me a half an hour and I'll make a contraption to scramble said eggs. I think like they feel on. I feel like they feel pretty sturdy. <laughs> that works. It's absurd. It's still absurd, but it does whiskey us. Okay. I mean, it doesn't make it not dumb, <laughs> but I mean, I guess if you're in a pinch, like at least it works, unlike the chocolate hand that just did not work. But I, I do have, I am ended up with scrambled eggs. Maybe the fan blowing air as it's whisking is like aerating the eggs and they make it extra fluffy. I don't know. Wow, internet. But it worked. I can't hit on it that much because it actually worked, but it is so absurdly ridiculous and there'd be never any like, reason that it'd be like, okay, 
Again, rather than all the other options we could choose, let's go this route. I wonder how they ended up here, but <laughs> let's try the next one. Before I get into the next one, I want to thank Dragon Mania Legends for sponsoring this video. Since I picked this game up, I haven't been able to put it down. Forgive me for a sec while I nerd out. You can breed and hatch baby dragons and creatures from over 600 different species based off their different elements, and I've already hatched a few rare runs. Then you get to grow and train those adorable little babies into kick-butt warriors to battle the Vikings and win back territory. There you go. You hungry? Lori? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, there are tons of mini games and quests within the game, along with battles that you can win gold and unlock new features. I just unlocked the dragon vault that allows me to house many dragons from any kind of element. Of course, that is where I'm housing my favorite dragon, Candy. Now she may look like sugar and spice, but you put her in a battle and she is anything but nice. Breeding has to be my favorite part of the game by far. I love trying to hatch new eggs by breeding different dragons from different elements together to create adorable little babies with endless possibilities. I am always counting down until that egg is ready to hatch and I can see what I got. If you guys want to play, you can download the game for free using the link in the description box below. And don't forget to add me as a friend so that we, we can unlock new quests together. I will leave my code right here. This one is supposed to be for those times that I, I think your regular sponge isn't working optimally and you really want to like get your hands in there so you can with the, the sponge in the mitt. I don't know, they, they just like peeled these two parts apart so theirs look like it peeled easily i mean it's peeling it just doesn't look the same and then i'm supposed to take said scratchy part and cut it into little finger width finger width pieces because these parts are going to go on my fingers so i can get my fingers all up in there when i'm trying to clean my dishes i just want to know who sat down one day and was like i got an idea and this is where they ended up okay and now i've got to like cut this into like a palm a palm shape. And you're supposed to like cut around. You ever wonder to yourself like, what is my job? Because I wonder that quite often <laughs> when I'm doing videos like this. That looks like theirs, right? They put it on their hand and then glue it while it's on their hand. So hopefully that doesn't burn me. <gasps> ow! 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 Did they put the glue right on the glove? <laughs> while it was on their hand. This video is trying to kill me. I'm gonna glue it while it's on the table. I think I need to put ice on that. Ow, ow, it hurts. So much easier doing it on the table. I don't know why anyone would glue these on while they're <laughs> on their hands. Hi. I guess I'm ready to wash some dishes. So. <laughs> like that looks much worse than if you just took a sponge and held it in your hand. It feels worse. Like it just feels like now I'm like right in it. Um, and these things are kind of coming off a little bit. It's just really awkward. And I don't know at what point I can use the, the one on my palm to just like, <laughs> first I'm washing it and they're already completely coming off. Which isn't a surprise. We weren't like, this one's gonna be a winner, but <laughs> it's just really bad. That's a good point. He's just laying by my feet. <laughs> soup fork cup. I, I don't know, I feel like this is just if you wanna have soup and you don't have a spoon, and instead of just drinking it from the cup, um, you're, you're trying to eat it with a fork, and that's not working, so you can make a, a spoon ladle out of a paper cup. I just don't know why at this point you would just like drink the soup from the cup. Like when I'm sick, I don't like holding a bowl of soup. Like I just want like a cup of soup that I can drink because this one time I was holding soup and I was so tired, I started falling asleep while I was holding it and then it tilt backwards and spilt burning hot soup all down my chest um, and I had bubbly burns all down my chest from it. Okay, so we just stab it through and then stab it through. I got it, I got it. It does not stab very well. I'm gonna cut a little slit. Yeah, and now I can... Mmm. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know how long you could, like it's not leaking. That's pretty surprising that it's not just like spilling out. I think it's, it's just one of those ones those things that you just say, why? I think all of these are just why. Yeah, yeah. 
Of course. I would love to say that this was the most ridiculous thing I've ever done, but unfortunately I did pour chocolate all over my freezing cold hand earlier and then burnt myself with a hot glue gun trying to add a sponge to a glove. So let's move on to the next ridiculous one. Where did the lid go though? In this one, you have no jam lid, but why do you not have a jam lid? Like where did it go that now you have to create one out of a balloon? I, I wish I had an answer for you. Somebody must have obviously lost the lid. Like saran wrap and elastic band is usually what I do when I don't have a lid to something. It looks like they're putting a lot of pressure on the balloon as they release it, so it... <laughs> I can't take anything seriously. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Okay, let it go. flying off and sending the like jam into the cupboard or something, you know? Can't you just stretch the balloon over top of it? Balloon. Jar. Oh, it doesn't work. Like, I'm surprised. This one, actually, like there's a few of them that actually worked that it was like, okay, so it did what it said it did. It's just ridiculous. And then there's other ones that just didn't work and that were dangerous and burnt me and froze my hand. What a weird video. <laughs> I'm sorry, or you're welcome, depending how you look at it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you so much again to Dragon Mania Legends for sponsoring this video. You guys can download the game for free through the link in the description box below. And hopefully this video hasn't scared you guys away and I will see you back again next week. Mwah.